All right, welcome to the Chromebook. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk a little bit about what to do about Chrome and how to operate it a little bit. So when you first open Chrome, it should come up to a page like this. And if you ever get in trouble and you don't know exactly where you clicked or where you're going, you can always click out and you should be able to open it up again and it should go directly to that page again. So that way, as soon as you open Chrome, it pops up, it takes you right back to this home page. So don't sweat it one bit if you end up in the wrong place. Now, since you have two different ways to move around, you can use your screen or you can use your touchpad. Either one is fine. But for moving around on a web page, it probably works better if you just use your screen. And so you can just touch the screen and slide it up and down so that way you can get to these icons where they have different websites for you to visit. So if you ever get lost and you don't know exactly where you went or you ended up on the wrong thing, you can just close out and start over again, okay? Now, something else you need to know about your Chrome is that you have three buttons here at the top. This one right here completely hides your Chrome browser. And so when I hit that, it goes down here and you'll see that there's a little bit of a line right here where it's still there. Something else you need to know is that this button right here in the middle will just kind of shrink the box a little bit and then I can actually grab a hold of it by grabbing this gray bar and I can move it around once it's in this mode and I can move it exactly where I want to place it. Okay? So if you want it big again, you just click on the box in the middle and it goes big again. Then you have this X. And anytime you tap on an X, it makes it close all together. So if I hit the X, closes. If I want to bring Chrome back up, I can just click on it or tap on it and it'll actually open up again and take me right back here. Okay, so if you want to leave, you can hit that button and it'll go away. You'll notice that you have that X right here too. Okay, so these are different tabs. I can have lots of different tabs, but I recommend just sticking with one at a time. But from time to time, you might open something and you might end up with different tabs. And when you go to these different tabs, they might have some different things playing. So you can actually switch between things if you ever get lost. Okay, so that's a little bit about Chrome and how to move in and out of it, how to close things, and how to make things small and big.